is how you're going to take advantage of critics, online trolls, and haters on social media with mindset hacks and strategies that could even make you go viral. If you watch to the end, I will reveal why having these type of comments is actually a good thing and you can use them to your advantage to dominate. So online, sadly, you'll encounter some kind of negative hate comment or a troll or critic. These people, armchair experts, just hide behind their computers or phone, throw in hurtful comments. And sometimes these can hurt because they can feel uncalled for and unjustified. And I'd say 99% of the time, they don't bother me. But then sometimes if I had a bad day, I feel like I'm doing well, my content works going well. I had a good day with my friends. You see one of these comments, she just think, oh, I really don't need this today. I literally get a troll comment every single day. I want you to think of labels and people's opinions though of stickers. Yes, stickers. We can put stickers and labels on anything we want. We are all equal, but we can put stickers on whatever we want. Therefore, you can only let somebody's opinion or label slash sticker affect you if you let that label stick. Why listen, let alone value people's opinions of people you don't even know who know nothing about you whatsoever. Hurt people hurt other people. And I truly believe that negative individuals, those who are really hurt inside, they project out on other people online or in person in general. Come on, you've got to be in a really sad or bad negative place if you actually want to project anger or insult somebody or try and ruin someone's day or that piece of content. If you're happy within yourself, you would just keep on doing the things you're doing and not care less about other people's contents or trying to get people to feel in a certain way or try and entice a reaction. Look at social media like a pantomime and there's always going to be heroes and villains. And if there wasn't any villains, then the show would be a bit boring. Everyone loves a villain, right? Just think of it, it's not even real. The positives of these comments and engagements is not only does it boost your posts while making your videos look more popular on the feeds with the flood of comments, and you can use them to get more reach and to go viral. They also give you really easy content ideas or lazy posts. Get a negative comment, I just think of the Super Mario game as well. You know Super Mario when he goes into the mushroom, when he gets bigger and he becomes powerful and stronger. Well, that's how I feel when someone's negative to me most of the time, because I'm so glad I do not talk to other people like that. And I don't feel that bad about myself that I have to project my anger and my sadness and my insecurities onto other people. I remind myself, I'm so glad I'm not like that, even though I have my own problems and struggles in life, just like everybody else. I treat others with kindness and respect and have manners. If you're running a business, leaving negative comments on other people's posts really makes your brand look bad because you are your brand and the way you talk to people and interact with people online, people see that and then that can leave a sour taste in people's mouth and they will really not want to invest in you and they'll tell their friends about it and it will go all around your local area or online world. So if you're a business owner, just be careful what you're actually commenting on other people's posts. So how would you handle negativity? Just handle it with compassion and empathy. Then with a bit of compassion or empathy or kindness. A lot of the times myself, when I read these negative comments, I get a bit annoyed at first and I'm entitled to be annoyed with these comments because somebody has decided to do that on your post. But then what I do, I just step back for about an hour and then after an hour, I'm fine and it doesn't affect me whatsoever. So that's a strategy for you right there. Just give it an hour to call off first before you decide what you want to do next. You can either delete the comment, show them with compassion, or you can do these strategies I'm about to give you now. I will say if you ignore the comments completely, it will really wind them up because they're not getting the attention they 
crave. Ah, oh, bless. This is a reminder if somebody has something to say on your content, it actually means you're doing something right because your content is standing out in the first place. If you want to take on the criticism, the negative hates, and the troll comments, just reply back to the troll with a video reply comment. Then to give your post a bit of a boost, you can share this post to your stories and ask your audience what do they think of the comment you received and they're all going to jump on your post to check it out. So this means you're going to get loads of engagement, loads of views, loads of attention on your account and lots of new followers in return. This is a creative way to entice people to stick up for you and engage on your post. I think the best thing to do really is just do what's right for you and your energy and how you feel. Because some days, you know, you really don't need these sort of comments and some days you'll handle them, some days you'll laugh at them. It's all part of the journey of social media, I'm afraid. I think video replies are definitely good if there's like a lesson behind their comments. So if someone gives me a really negative comment about something, about social media growth or something, I do like a good video reply, a good lesson, like don't judge a book by its cover or a tip, explain how the algorithm works, about long sustainable growth, how social media is a marathon, not a sprint. And then by doing so, not only does this shut the hater up or the comment or the credit up, it gives you more authority and you know easy content idea and it tracks people to your profile. Now, if somebody's trying to get a reaction from you and they're just being a pain in the backside, when you play chess with a pigeon, even though I'd be surprised a pigeon can play chess, to be honest, but let's just like go with this. No matter how good you are playing chess with a pigeon, no matter how well you play, no matter how well you beat them, the pigeon is still going to knock all the pieces all over the place and still think it's one strut in its stuff. Then they're going to reply again the day after and the day after and the day after and the day after. Now, do you really want to waste your time replying to someone like this, like a pigeon? No. If running a business, your online brand for the long game is what is what you stand up for, your reputation and your image. It's who you are, what you're doing. Aim to be the better person in every situation. I also think it's important to focus on self-improvement or any insecurities you have that may get you to feel triggered by other people's comments. Just look into it a bit deeper. Acknowledge we all have room for growth, new growth, and do a bit each better with each piece of content we create and deliver. What are your thoughts about online critics, online haters, and trolls? How do you react to them? Let me know in the comments. I've also left you a little something extra in the description if you need a little more help. Plus subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video and you found it of good value.